In the last video, I took you to University Park Cleaners where Elvis and Scotty and Bill practiced upstairs for this gig that I'm getting ready to tell you about. Stay tuned. So friends, they call this the Levitt Shell now at Overton Park. Back in the 50s, this was called the Overton Park Shell. And this, friends, is the site of none other than what some legend has called the very first rock and roll song, rock and roll show ever played. July the 30th, 1954. This is where Elvis's first paid performance was. He got paid to play right here, and legend has it that he was so nervous that his leg began to shake and the fans went crazy. And the rest is history, friends. The Levitt Shell, right there. Elvis played here the very first time he got paid to play and sing. This is the side of it. And you can see they're still playing music here today. They're setting up for a show. But this is where they say the very first rock show happened. Right here, friends. So Elvis was opening for none other than Slim Whitman. And some of you people my age would probably remember Slim being on infomercials and selling his CDs and stuff on the TV when we were kids. And this is a sample of Slim Whitman for those of you that have never heard him. Imagine Elvis opening for this guy. Check out the claim they made. <laughs> recording star had the number one record in England for more weeks than any singer in history, even Elvis and the Beatles. And now for the first time on American TV, we proudly offer the fabulous hits of Slim Whitman, the man voted number one international male artist in England four years in a row. Here is all the magic of Slim Whitman, the international star who has sold 31 million records. So that was who Elvis actually opened for. And notice it spelled Ellis Presley, not Elvis Presley. And by the way, Billy Walker was there as well. Very interesting stuff indeed. So let's go backstage. Let's see what it looked like. This is Elvis backstage. This is Elvis with a little boy that grew up to be a police officer and actually stood watch over his body August 16th, August 17th, 1977. And this last picture is Elvis backstage. And we're going to find where this photograph was taken at, friends. So we're about to go inside. Stay tuned. We just want to want to know a little bit about the, the history. And, you know, there's some well, photographs of Elvis here. Uh, so where did this happen at? Uh, this this picture, photograph. Right here. So that is the wall that he's standing That's in front of. That's the wall that he's so standing in front of. So he was literally in, in this room backstage. He was, he was literally standing right So there. this hasn't changed. I mean, li clearly this is sure, new, sure. but the physical shape but of the, the room. The physical shape of the room and everything is as it was. Now, one of the only different things, yeah. back then the performers actually dressed and got themselves ready in the basement, came up the back stairs, which I'll be happy to show you. Okay. And, uh, and then through the center bay there, that's how they entered the stage. Okay. So that, that's, that's a little bit different. That's very cool. So if you look at this photo, you see there's a seam on the floor to the right, an expansion joint. That is actually to the right of the, the turn in the wall. Elvis is actually standing in front of the turn. It's directly behind him. If you look right there, you see that seam. And they were literally standing there, the seam to Elvis's back, the guy a little bit to the right of it right there. Yeah, happened right there. If they stood, stood on a flat wall, you'd never know. <laughs> you'd never know. That's right. So it's definitely it's right, right here. That is the spot right wow. there. That is the one. See the turn. Now, do you have a guitar? Do you know what <laughs> <laughs> That happened right that's a cool, here. That's friends. a cool picture of him. Though. That is a it very is. cool picture. You can see Elvis's left or right foot is right in front of there. So he's actually standing somewhere like right there, something like that as opposed to the, to the wall or maybe a little bit further back. But somewhere in that neighborhood right there. I just love this picture of Carl Perkins. Oh, cool. He looks like he's having so dull. And look at the lights. <laughs> yeah, that is really cool. That's right here on the stage outside. But yes, we're backstage is. right now. That is correct. Very cool. That is so correct. this was... All these rooms were here at the time. Yes, sir. So the Coke machine picture could have been on either one of these sides. Very much so. Yeah. yeah. 
So it, I would say it would have been in one of these rooms based I mean, off of the probably size. Probably more likely in here as yeah. well. Yeah. So there's a, a colorized version. Yeah. Right, look at that. And that's actually one of the tickets. That is actually one of the tickets from that night. Look at that. That is awesome. And back then, they actually had seats. Oh, yeah. But they've been yeah. taken out now. It's, it's long, yeah. but at that time, there was real seating. They got taken out about 10 years ago when we did a renovation on yes, the place. Yes, sir. We almost lost the show. So, friends, I believe Elvis would have gotten ready in this on this side. I think this would be reasonably said to be the men's side. There's the bathrooms right there. He would have walked out this door, mm -hmm. gone up these stairs. Gone back into the building right here and walked right in here. Come over here, got his picture made. Nervous. The picture was taken just minutes before he went on stage. He leaves this side of the room. He walks right back out here. We don't know which side he went out, but let's say he went this way. He opens this door. He comes out here and plays his first paid concert ever. And this place was, it, back then it had stationary seating. Like these seats that are stationary, it was all stadium type seating where the grass is. And I'll show you some photographs of it. I can also show you something else. All right, it happened right here, friends. Right here, Levitt Park Shell. So he would have been more, he's thinking, over here to the side instead of center stage. Um, because they probably had stuff set up for Slim and center right, stage exactly. because he was the opening yeah. act. So he played here. This is what it would have looked like, similar to this. And then he turns and goes back inside. Very nervous. Inside just like this. And then probably came into this room. So now we know, friends, right here. It happened right here. Amazing. So friends, this photo right here, you can see the line right there, and the wall turns. That's that turn right there. So if he was standing literally right here, and the stage is on the other side of that wall, he would have gone out that door to the left, out onto the stage. An iconic day. So that's what the back of the shell looks like. And all this stuff is, in fact, original. Amazing. So just barely two months after a terrible car accident where Carl was hurt and his brother was hurt, you see his brother still wearing a neck brace right here. Carl had 5,000 teenagers show up and Elvis came and they exchanged autographs. That all happened at the shell as well. This was just a little over a month shy of two years from the time Elvis recorded That's All Right Mama, and about 22 months from the time that Elvis played the shell the first time. It's pretty incredible. Friends, one last thing. This used to be on the back of the Levitt shell. Now, where back there, I don't know, but you can see that it's got the Jewish star, it's got the Christian cross, it's got the menorah, it's got Elvis actually playing a bass guitar, it's got the lamb, and they had some complaints and that kind of stuff, so they reduced it to this, which is Elvis playing a bass guitar, but this is actually a real scene, and that is Elvis playing the bass on the Jailhouse Rock recording session on the song You're So Square, Baby, I Don't Care. And the story is is that this is actually Bill Black's first electric bass. He was used to playing stand-up, but in the concerts, they needed a louder bass, so he got that bass and they got him an amp. During this session, Bill could not play the lick in that song. You know the lick. So Elvis said, I'll do it, and he sat down and did it, and this photo is from that session. Something I think is really cool is I happen to know where that bass guitar is at. And I have actually played that bass guitar, believe it or not. Yeah, I sure have. This is just a little bit more of that Elvis puzzle. And if you're new to this channel, Adventures of the Spy Guy, I have more than 600 Elvis videos. And don't forget to check out my sidekick, Globetrotting with Trey. 
He has over 150. And we both focus on true Elvis stories and what really happened. So if you want to support this effort, make sure that you subscribe, like, and then join. That helps us to get more videos out there. Yes, it does.